Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Drawing Fire Emblem Heroes. Uh, this week I've been plagued with technical issues again, which is probably why this is going to take a long time, but... Oh well, that's just modern technology for you. Yay! <laughs> I had to like, restart everything because my computer crashed again and it corrupted like my uh, VTuber model. So I had to go and fix all that, which was great. And then I had to fix the VTubing program I use and go through and fix all the settings. Then the camera tracking broke and that's great. So yeah, I'm known as the glitchy VTuber. <laughs> Anyways, yes, this week we got Ellie Wood, which he's from one of the Blade games, from what I can remember. Uh, don't ask me which one because there's two of them, but I think over here it was just known as like Fire Emblem and uh, that was it. It was just like the first Fire Emblem game that got released. Uh, I started again with Fates, so it was way before my time with Fire Emblem at least. I mean, I had a Game Boy, but I just didn't have that Fire Emblem game. But yeah, I'd love to get around to playing it. Um, I think they're throwing it on the online service on Nintendo, which is great because we don't usually get that kind of thing for Nintendo, so good for them for throwing that on there. Uh, it's just unfortunate um, a lot of people like me can't afford the premium membership, so we're stuck with the normal cheap one. Yay! <laughs> but yeah, I mean, like, uh, we had a few of these characters in Engage, like, uh, I know we had Roy, which is Ellywood's son, I know that much at least. Uh, Roy was in Engage, which... Okay, good, fair choice. Uh, he's... yeah, I guess. But then, also we engaged, I chose Lin, which is uh, favouritism to Lin again, because I swear Lin has the most alts in Fire Emblem heroes at the moment, and she's literally like the poster girl for like uh, Fire Emblem before Lucina came along. So, um... Yeah. Instead of having representation for Elliewood in Engage, in like the normal version, you know, without the DLC, they chose Lynn, which, you know, she's like the poster girl for Fire Emblem, in a way, before Lucina came around, so everything's gonna have Lynn in it. But also for, like, the DLC, they chose Hector. They couldn't even just throw in Hector and Elliewood. It was just Hector. I mean, I like Hector, but come on, guys. Just... We could have had a conversation with Elliewood and Roy. That would have been cool. But unfortunately, yeah, that's just the uh, life of a male lord. There's been a few alts for Elliewood and Fire Emblem Heroes so far. Uh, I can think, I think there was like the uh, version of him and Roy in the wedding banner last year. There was the Valentine's banner, I think. Uh, there's obviously the Brave one, which we got this week. Normal Elliewood, and then there's also Legendary Elliewood. But I, they'll probably add something in the future, maybe. I mean, saying this, the male lords often get less than the female lords, which is just how it goes, unfortunately. Uh, yeah. So uh, hopefully we see more of him in the future. He's a cool character in my opinion. I think he's pretty chill. Uh, just, yeah, I, I don't really know what else I can say, unfortunately. Just this video has been a while in the making for the last week because my computer keeps messing up. Also, it's a heat wave over here in the UK at the moment, which means everything is dying. I'm dying, my technology is dying, refuses to work properly. And uh, because we don't have air conditioning here, and because it's so humid, y you just can't breathe. Uh, I'm hoping it ends soon because I just can't deal with it. <laughs> Anyways, that's it for this week, and I'll hopefully see you all again for another episode of Drawing Fire Emblem Heroes next time. See ya!